Hello again, friends. I am Seed Hero, and welcome back to Triangle Strategy. Real quick before you maximize your tab away, if you can drop a like on the video, I would appreciate it oh so very much. Uh, we are about to jump into a scale of conviction, stating that the party decides how to use the new weapon gifted to them by Hyzant. I thought it was pretty clear that this weapon could be used to blow a hole in a wall. And while that seems like a bad idea... I apologize, but are you suggesting we destroy the dam around Telior Reservoir to start a flood? Never mind, there are more options. There are... There are far more egregious options than just blowing a hole in a wall. The capital city was built on the banks of the Norzeli River. Breaking the dam surrounding Lake Telior upstream will allow us to submerge a majority of the city. Benedict, what about that sounds like a good idea to you? Flooding the town will throw their army into disarray, which should allow us to take the place by storm. Lake Telior is a man-made reservoir. You might be able to burst through with a blast crystal. Huet scouted the area earlier and reported seeing very few sentries. Proof enough that this is outside the Archduke's calculations. No. The damage will be too great. Yeah, I think I'm on rolling side on this one. The means would not justify the end, Benedict. We cannot afford to lose. I agree with Roland. There is already far too much blood on our hands. Like, we can, we can fix the dam eventually. But flooding the capital city, I feel like, will, will cause a lot of... a lot of casualties. Perhaps it's worth speaking with the people and gaining their understanding. Unless we reclaim Glenbrook, it's unlikely they'll understand or support our actions. We must take the capital back and show our strength and resolve first. So that means you stand by Benedict then. If we have a sure shot at winning, we need to take it. No matter the consequences. We can't lose the war. We just can't. Telior Reservoir is the kingdom's water source. The dam was constructed to protect the people from floods. I doubt they would ever forgive us should we choose to destroy it for war. Glenbrook thrives because of that water, and to use it otherwise is inexcusable. Brute strength isn't the only way to reclaim the city. We can strike at night and defeat their commanding officers. There are ways to slip into the castle unseen. If you have used it before, there is a chance it has been sealed off since. There is more than one route. You needn't worry. So you mean not to use the blast crystal? No, I do. After we sneak in, we can sink Esfrost's warship. It would close off their escape route. Our first priority should be ensuring the people's safety. We cannot allow them to be taken hostage. It would restrict our options as well. She's got a point. But how do we take the capital back after that? We could use the blast crystal to destroy the bridge connecting the town and the castle. The enemies would be stuck within the walls. That would certainly mitigate the damages to the citizens. If we encircle the castle, we could negotiate with them. We could ask them to yield, free Glenbrook, and re-establish the trade between our nations. I am certain we can find a way to make both parties agree. Negotiate? I understand your thoughts and the wishes held therein. Allow me to ask once more. Shall we shatter the dam around Lake Telior and flood the town? Sneak in under the guise of night, sink their ships and slay their commanding officers? Or destroy the bridge, safeguard the people and negotiate with the enemy? Fetch the scales. It is time we decide our path. What do we do here? What do we do?
we now have three paths before us, each with its own merits and shortcomings. Which one will lead House Wolfort to victory? Oh, we have... Oh, look at that! Look at our scale! Look at our scale! The ever-changing scale of conviction. Where are we at? Can I go out to the town? Hang out, my lord. Oh, I sure am. There are houses that need raiding. And people haven't been robbed in some time now. Lord Saranoa, I shall accompany you wherever you go. I'm sure my knowledge of Elfric will be of great service to you. Better be. Heard that Elfric is still in development, and only a few people are privy to its details. According to the rumors, its blast could blow a hole straight through the castle wall. Would we really use such a thing in battle? Elfric is still in development. Are they hoping to use this battle to test its powers? There's a chance we're exposing the people to greater danger than we thought. We must consider its placement very carefully. I wonder how that's going to come into play. Yeah, I'm super curious about that. Lord Saranoa, we've returned from scouting the capital. The Crown City is teeming with us frosty soldiers, and it appears that a second force led by General Vlora is defending Whiteholm Castle. So as Frost has soldiers stationed throughout the city and around the castle, the latter led by General Vlora no less. I doubt a full frontal attack would work to our favor. This is definitely worth considering when making our strategy. My lord, how is your father doing? The people are worried. We haven't heard any tidings of his health for some time now. Uh... Um... We'll, we'll just go, we'll go to this bottom one. Feels, feels good. Give the people hope. Give the people hope. I appreciate your concern, but you needn't worry. My father is the strongest man I've ever known. Doubtless he'll be back on his feet in no time. I look forward to the day already. I have the utmost faith in Lord Simon. But I forget myself. You must be so busy, Lord Saranoa. My apologies for detaining you. Don't apologize. I'm happy to know the people care about my father so. Lord Simon is a true hero to us all, and not because he brought the Salt Iron War to its end. We respect him because he has a heart of gold and walks astride his people. Thank you. Neither my father nor I could ask for a better people. I almost forgot to raid this house. I see zero sparkles, sir. Are you aware? Lord Saranoa, you've been out and about quite often lately, haven't you? There's something amiss. I can't help but notice the shortcomings and goings of Hyzant soldiers, too. Did I say the shortcomings? You know what? It, it fits. Something about it bodes ill. No sparkles. Quality Iron X2, holy cow. I will take it. Hello, child. My uncle's a soldier, but he's always busy these days. I haven't been able to talk to him at all. I keep our soldiers very busy. What do you got? Oh, a thousand dollars. I see what they've been hiding from me. And two superior irons? This house. They're doing very well for themselves. Hello, tradesperson! What can you give me today? Quality fiber? You sure can. I will take all of your quality items. Maybe not all of them. Because I am broke, you see. Kitty! Good kitty. Don't, don't worry, though, Mr. Merchant. When I find more money, I'll be back. 
After the duchy made their declaration, the holy state stopped shipping salt. Merchants can no longer trade salt in the capital either. My niece came back from the tech from the crown city. She said there are more as frosty soldiers than not ever now. Since the fall of House Fox in Telior, many of their people have fled here to Wolfort. And the refugees from the Crown City have also come to live with our domain. It's not uncommon to hear of fights breaking out between them and the people of Wolfort. What should we do, my lord? Uh, I don't think that's great. I don't want to convince anyone to go to Hyzant. These people have nowhere else to go. We will accept them with open arms. We must prioritize the happiness of our people. Do so we must regrettably ask more problematic individuals to leave. Um, we're, I, I feel like we're welcoming. I feel like we should continue to be welcoming. Because, you know, the more people we get, the more chance that we can talk them into slavery at a future date. We should accept them with open arms, Mr. Soldier. Very well, my lord. I should warn you that our domain's resources will run dry. And the people's discontent continues to grow. I understand, but before either of those reach their limit, I shall bring us frost to its knees. Understood, my lord. Leave the issue of the refugees to us. A black anklet? Is that so I can keep track of somebody? What do we have in here? Absolutely nada. Ma'am, I am going to need to ask you to make a little bit more money next month. I came here hoping to bring my aunt to live with me in the capital. As Frost's invasion took me by surprise, but life's been easier since. We can enjoy freedom of trade and no longer have to give offerings to the crown. You're gonna have to give offerings to me here real soon, though. So, uh, you could, if you could store some of that in your house, that would be fabulous. Seems the people living in the Crown City aren't suffering as much as I thought they'd be. The scouts we sent to the capital returned not a moment ago. The preparations are continuing apace, but I worry about sharing the field with the Byzantian troops. Me too, buddy. Me too. Even though I'm one of the saintly seven. My god, these people are poor. The soldiers look like they're preparing for something. There's another big battle on the horizon. The Byzantian soldiers were, that were bringing relief supplies look like they're readying for war, too. My reserves are still stocked, but I do not know how long that will last. The Duchy's trade embargo has me worried, to say the least. Okay. Good talk. Have I checked this house? I don't think so. It looks rather... rather out of stock. Roland's Wanted poster has been added to notes. We will be looking at that later. All right, let's go. Let's go make us a decision. Let us make a decision. What do we have, my friends? I don't know. I legit have no idea what we should do. I don't really want to. Um, I don't really want to destroy the bridge. Oh, I lied. I don't want to destroy the dam. That feels. That feels like the wrong answer. Feels like that would destroy the city. And uh, and I'm not about that. I'm, I'm not about that. Uh, but the, between the other two, infiltrated the castle, launch a surprise attack, destroy the warship. That seems like a good idea to me. Roland and Huet. I think that's a good one. Destroy the bridge and trap the enemy in the castle, then negotiate? I... I don't think that works. I don't I don't think that works. We've met Thallus. We've had plenty of conversations with Thallus. In what world 
is that that, that kid, the, the is he a prime minister? In what world is that prime minister ever going to negotiate anything? He's king of the world in his eyes and he knows it. Yeah, I really think I really think launching a surprise attack is is the only good option here. And that's what we're going to go for. Negotiating would only grant the enemy reprieve. There's a high chance that Queen Cordelia has revealed the secret tunnels to the enemy. But we would most certainly deal a heavy blow to the Esfrosty forces by flooding the city. <laughs> These are both better luck talking to a stone wall. Uh, we're going to use the secret passages to infiltrate the castle, Benedict. So you would choose Prince Roland's plan. Might I inquire as to why? Um... I don't mind the top or the bottom answers. Uh, I really don't think anyone would be expecting us, of all people, to use them right now. Actually, you know what? That is not true. They know that they know that something's up, so it's possible that they're expecting it. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Uh, so this bottom one's where we're going. As Frost needs their ships for both travel and transport, it would do us well to destroy them at the soonest opportunity. Hmm, interesting indeed. The Duchy's warships are troublesome indeed, and As Frost is a Adept with ships and naval warfare. Even if my plans were to succeed, there is a chance that a great number of enemy soldiers escape, escape using these vessels. In which case, it would better serve us to take them by surprise. I am decided. I understand your argument, my lord. But to perfect a plan, one must consider it from all angles. Let us continue our discussion. Um, I think the middle one is dumb. I don't think that's a great idea. The more time our plan takes, the more likely Queen Cordelia is to be taken hostage. If we sneak into the castle, however, we may be able to help her escape. I feel like she's already about as deep as she can get. Um, they might... When they realize that we're under Prince Roland's banner, they might then use her as a negotiating piece. But... Yeah, yeah. I guess I guess the more I think about it, it's not it's not a terrible idea trying to sneak in. But that doesn't help dissuade him from his plan because his plan is even more likely to make sure that they can't use her as a negotiating piece. Um, the bottom one is for sure the one that I'm concerned with, though. Um, allowing harm to befall the crown city and castle would solely house Wolfort's honor as one of the high houses. We should avoid flooding the city if we can avoid it. Quite impossible. My lord, the kingdom has already fallen. The three high houses failed to protect the crown, and there is little we can do to, do to defend that honor now. But this battle may be our chance to reclaim House Wolfort's renown, which is why we must win at all costs. I may have to consult Thank the you, others. my lord. You have made your stance abundantly clear. It appears indifferent. That was a very belittling tone he took with us just there. Very belittling indeed. Anna, you're next. Yes, Talk sir. Talk to me, girl. The enemy may have already may already be aware of the tunnels, but no one's anticipating a flood. The capital's swarming with us frosty soldiers. We must prepare ourselves to make sacrifices if we're to reclaim the city. Uh, using the secret passages to infiltrate the castle is the soundest action. So you share Prince Roland's thoughts, even though Esfrost might know about the tunnels? The flood would destroy the crown city, whereas stealing into the castle would spare the people from harm. 
And I can think of no one better at covert operations than you, Anna. Um... I think this bottom one is actually going to be more... more into Anna's line of thought. Uh, the middle one is... is very flattering, sure. It's very flattering. But again, she's only good at a covert, op covert operations because she's alone. And if we're going in with a group, then that line of flattery is not going to work. So we'll go with the bottom one. The enemy is scattered throughout the city and castle. Inside Whiteholm, a small and elite force would have the advantage over numbers. Indeed. I see. You already know where the enemy is situated, my lord. It is as you say. Numbers would mean naught in the castle's narrow passageways. We could certainly use that to our advantage. Even if we were met with General of Laura's forces, we would be able to fight her on equal footing. I need time. But the plan is hardly foolproof. I suppose it is worth considering. Anna, did we did we sway her? Has Anna been swayed? Frederica is going to be hard to convince, considering we are we are negotiating right now, trying to convince her to kill her family, Sarah, no. which I imagine is difficult. A nation cannot exist without a people. We cannot risk exposing those very people to any more hardship than they have already endured. If we explode the bridge, we can isolate the castle. These people will be spared from our battle. Uh, well, we should clearly use the secret passages to infiltrate the castle. Sarah Noah, do you truly think Roland's plan is the best way forward? Um... Man... These all, these all feel pretty similar, actually. This plan is simple and relies solely on House Wolfort to reclaim the city. We have successfully infiltrated the castle using the tunnels before. I have no doubt we can do it again. Uh, everyone keeps on bringing up that Cordelia may have already given them insider information. So I think I'm going to avoid this middle option. General of Laura guards the castle. There is a chance your plan could result in a prolonged battle. And even even this bottom one, I don't think will sway her. Because she doesn't really care about the battle or the length of the battle at this point. She just wants to make sure that the citizens are isolated, which her plan does. Uh, so we're going to go with this top one. This plan is simple and relies solely on House Wolfort to reclaim the city. I see. I see. We will have done so without matters escalating into a much larger battle. But if we fail, we risk losing absolutely everything. I need a moment to think. Thank you, Sarah Noah. I'm happy to know where it is you stand. Frederica is deep in thought. We may have swayed her. Who is next? Gila, tell me, girl. Ah, tell yes. me. Benedict's plan gives us our surest path to victory, but would incur great damages to the capital. And Prince Roland's plan is far too dangerous a gamble. Call me naive, but I believe Frederica's plan is to be best for all of us. I admit I am curious as to why you would choose Prince Roland's plan. Oh, we finally got an option for the, uh, for the Blast Crystals. As Frost needs their ships for both travel and transport, storing them now would undoubtedly avail us in future battles. That is a good point too, Serenor. We sneak into the castle, we may be able to catch the enemy unawares and rescue Queen Cordelia. That is also an excellent point. We cannot do... We can't do Frederica's plan. We can't do Frederica's plan because that ensures that Cordelia is a bargaining chip. Or a hostage. And 
while Vlora may be on our side, kind of, Thalys 100% will put the knife to Cordelia's syrup. Uh, his plan would allow us to reclaim the Crown City unharmed. We could show the people that we mean well. Don't like that. Um, Frederica's plan, I believe, is even more in the line of showing the people that we mean well. So we can avoid that. Um, let's go Let's go with the top one. Sneaking into the castle, may be able to catch the enemy unaware and rescue Queen Cordelia. I don't know. I cannot deny that possibility. Doing so would be a boon to both Prince Roland and the kingdom itself. But if we were stalled in the castle and discovered by the enemy, they may take her majesty as a hostage instead. I require some time to think. There is much more to consider with Prince Roland's plan than I originally thought. She appears indifferent. Should we, uh... Should we leave Eridor as undecided and not try to sway him? Let's do it. Let's do it. This is called gambling. My friends, I know you are all likely very comfortable right now sitting in your actually horrible wooden chairs. I'm sorry I couldn't invest in anything comfier. That's how you know it's bad when even Roland is standing. Ugh. Also, why do we have these extra chairs? Somebody should be using them. Guardsman! You should really take a load off. Have a seat, sir. At your earliest convenience, please. Alright, everyone. It's time to stand. We are commencing voting. It is time to cast our votes. In which strategy do we entrust the future of Glenbrook? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. The brand new and improved triple scale of conviction. On this, I cannot be swayed. Do not think your plan is a bad one. Just not the best one, given the circumstances. That's fair, Benedict. This is why we're gambling. Even still. The people's safety is what's most important. In this matter, I cannot be swayed. I thought we swayed Frederica. We may not get what we want today. I'm afraid I disagree. My apologies, but I will put my faith in Frederica's plan. Did we sway nobody? Do we sway I Anna? I cannot agree to this. <gasps> we swayed zero people. We didn't sway a single person. Oh man, it is all up to Eridor. My apologies, but my token will fall elsewhere this time. And Eridor seemed like he was on the side of Benedict's plan at the start. We might be blowing up a dam. We might be blowing up a dam. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. Unfortunately, now there are three scales and I've forgotten which one means what. Oh, we're destroying the dam! Oh no. Oh no, we're gonna kill so many people. The way oh, forward no. is decided. We collapse the reservoir and flood the capital, dealing a crippling blow to the enemy forces. And the populace. You will submerge the capital to win the battle. Well, listen, Exam. I thought it was crazy too, all right? I see. So Wolfort rules with military might. Only, only, only three of our advisors rule with military might, all right? It is a thorny path you tread. Your people will resent you for this. I am well aware. 
I know. It would be unfortunate if you didn't, but that is what it means to rule with might. I must return to Hyzant and see Minister Kamso. Next we meet, you will have both of our armies at your backs. You have my thanks. We cannot afford to lose this fight. For Norzelia. I thought this battle was for Glenbrook. This is not a simple struggle for power, Minister Serenel. The Goddess, the Source, Iron? The War of Thirty Years Ago comes back to haunt us because the old cling to relics of the past. Norzelia needs to be born anew. Right now, the people of every nation are searching for a young standard bearer to guide them. A standard bearer? Yes, people like you and me. This war is a fine opportunity for us to show our worth to Norzelia. <laughs> Our time has come. Completed. And with that, our time has also completed. Thank you so much for joining me in this. Uh, I, I don't, I don't know what to think about the uh, the damn explosion that's going to happen. But I am, I'm kind of excited that I've been, that I've been forcefully taken away from the path that I wanted to go. Um. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I am kind of excited about that. But anyways, guys, I do truly hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care.